And fans of the original Showtime series, The L Word, now have the second season of the reboot, The L Word Generation Q. The second season helping revolutionize this generation, all while following a group of friends who are experiencing love, heartbreak, and setbacks in LA. So joining us now to discuss is actor Leo Shang, who plays Micah on the show. Leo, good to have you here. Thanks so much for joining us. Let's talk about your character, Micah, here for a second, because Micah's completely transformed from the first season. So how do you sort of feel like your character has grown now in this second season? Yeah, for sure. Well, good morning to you, and thank you for having me as well. Um, you know, I think I, I've been just really reflecting on Micah's journey so far. I mean, we only are two episodes in, but you know, I, when we meet Micah, he's kind of this quiet, like you know, he knows what he wants in life, I think, but he doesn't really know how to get it, go go for it. And so we see him, you know, not really having relationships and like having friendships, but not really knowing how to navigate the the former. <laughs> uh, and we get to see him really come into his own this season. And I don't know, you know, folks who saw the last episode, he ended a relationship that probably wasn't the healthiest for him. Um, and so like he's really taking control of his life and his journey, and uh, you know, listening to his gut. So the thing I think everybody loves about this show is the characters feel so real and people really connect with a lot of the characters. Do you ever feel like there's more pressure then that you wanna basically represent mm. this character well, you don't wanna stereotype this character in any sort of way? Does, as an actor, does that add more pressure to you, do you think? Yeah, I mean, these are all conversations we had going into season one too. Like, what does it mean to play Micah? And you know, for me, like, what does is, what is his character mean? What is it going to mean? Um, and it is, like you said, a balance of not wanting to then be the face of maybe something that will be taken as a stereotype, and also like you know telling this particular story. And something I always say is that there's no you know one story, there's no one trans narrative. And so this is just what I hope people you know see through Micah. It's just another version of life, another another path lived as a trans person in LA. Um, and so it is. There is some pressure, but I, I take it very very personally and in a, in a, in a, as a responsibility. Um, to to get it as right as I can get it, uh, maybe not perfect, but as right as I can get it. No, and I love that, and I love so much about that. And by the way, there's also one of the first scenes we see is Micah at the pool with his shirt off um, <laughs> as a trans man. Did that make you uncomfortable at all? I mean, I I, I can't take my shirt off anywhere. I can only <laughs> imagine what it's like doing that in, uh, on camera. I mean, that the pool scene, if it's if it's the scene with Jose, it was, was one of my favorite scenes to, to film in season one. Um, you know, not just uh, not just visually, I think it came out so, like, so, so beautifully, um, but but emotionally, I think, you know, you touching on too, there's, there's often a kind of a taboo or like a fascination um, with like maybe trans people's bodies and like particularly people who might've had some sort of medical transition. Um, and I really wanted to like own my body. I really wanted to say that this is what my body looks like and, and uh, what my transition has looked like. Um, and so it was both, it was powerful both for myself and for Micah to, to have that moment of intimacy and vulnerability. And I also love this moment in Hollywood because we're seeing such amazing trans visibility and representation in a lot of shows. MJ Rodriguez, all the amazing stuff she does on Pose, Laverne Cox, Jazz Jennings. Do you feel like this is an amazing moment as a trans actor when it comes to showcasing what trans life is really like right now? It is. And it's, I mean, I, I wouldn't be here without the work that these folks that you've named and, and so many more have been doing. Janet Mock, Reese Ernst, Brian Michael Smith, you know, and so many more who have been in the industry, who are who are, have been writing, who have been putting our stories out into the world for so long. Um, and so I, I look to the folks who came before me, as, as I think any generation often does and should um for for guidance and um and it's been such a, a humbling and, and beautiful journey to to be able to be part of this moment um and particularly as a as a trans man of color as an asian american trans man to to be able to um tell the story well I, one thing i love about you leo is you you transitioned when you were 12 uh, and you've been very open about that Given the fact that trans rights are under so much assault in this country, in so many states right now, is is showing your story, especially how young you you were when you transitioned, is that important to you to show that to so many other kids out there that are dealing with this on an everyday basis? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, so yeah, I was twelve when I came out, and I I, I socially transitioned, and I banned my medical transition later um, as a as a young adult. Um, but I think about when I was twelve and what was what were some of the the images and, and forms of representation that I was seeing, and they weren't always as positive as I think they could have been or should have been. Um, and so it is it is incredibly meaningful to to think that this is again being part of like 
the Hollywood as a trans person and then being part of the industry and being part of this wave of representation that young trans people um, get to look to, hopefully, um, assuming they have the access to do that, you know, um, is is a huge, huge honor. Um, and and I have gotten messages from trans youth, trans adults, parents and family of trans folks who have seen Micah um, and felt themselves, their experiences were reflected back at them or have seen, you know, their child or their friend's experiences reflected uh, back at them. Uh, and so I'm seeing, I'm seeing the power that that has for sure. Absolutely, representation, it matters. Uh, Leo, thank you so much <clears throat> for sharing your story, your journey, and mm -hmm. all the amazing success that you're having so far on the L Word. Leo Shang is the L uh, part of the L Word, Generation Q, it airs on Sundays, 10 p.m. Eastern time on Showtime.